Hi everyone, this is Lisa from Canine Clips and this is Bella. Um, Bella is um, a Poodle Bichon mix breed and I'm just going to demonstrate how to trim her face. She's a little bit older of a dog so I actually have put a towel down for her because she does tend to like to move around and um, and that just <laughs> encourages her to move more when I put the towel but that just gives her a little bit of stability because she was slipping quite a bit. So I'm just going to lift that up for you. Come here, baby. All right. So as I don't like to use restraints on any dog, um, this just uh, helps to keep her upright because uh, she's kind of slippery on that table. So there are some dogs that will allow it. She's real tiny. She's about five to six pounds. So I'm just going to show you how I kind of clean out the eye area on her. Although small, she is mighty. So of course, because she moves around a little bit, I just got to be careful when I'm going around her eyes and face. And she's got a little bit of staining in there. So I kind of like to get underneath it a little bit. And just do little, little cuts at a time to make sure that I'm getting the actual fur. She's a little nervous by the panting. And you just got to be careful because she is panting and her has her mouth open. So when I'm getting in there, I'm making sure I'm aware of where her tongue is. And again, I'm just going really, um, really short little cuts. Wait till her tongue's put away there. And there we go. So I kind of rest it on her nose. So you're always going to be aware of where um, where the end of your scissors are because they are very sharp, of course. And when I am holding her, I'm holding her by the back of the jawline or the back of the head there and not putting any pressure on her throat, of course, because you want her to be able to breathe properly and not restrict any of her breathing, of course. Just going to get that one that's hanging down there. There we go. All right, so we did that side. And I'm going to move the camera to the other side while I get that one. So we have a little bit better of a view. And because she likes to move around a lot, I do like to always kind of keep a little hand on her just so she doesn't kind of walk off the table on me. All right, so now we'll do the other side. And it's the same same motion, so just small little little cuts at a time. You can see how it's a little bit grown in there. Um, but also that uh, there is some tearing from her eyes, so it makes it a little caked in in there. Yeah, and she's a talker. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yes. And there we go. So give her a little bit of a break there. And then we're just about done the face here. So sometimes it's just going kind of at their pace, especially if they're a little bit older. They just need a little bit more time. They know why they're here. They know they have to get it done. So they've already been through this process a few times, but that doesn't mean they're going to like it or want to get it done. So. You just kind of got to go slow, especially when they're panting. There we go. All right, so this is um, her face all done up here. I just may, mainly just wanted to show you. <laughs> she doesn't want to show you. 
So I wanted to show you just around the face and the head. Um, I'll be coming more and getting a little bit more around the head done here. I can just continue on, I guess, for a little bit. Just to show you the face. Because around the body, so around here and stuff, I will be using clippers. So I tend just to do everything that I want to use scissors on before. But if I'm going to be able to use clippers, I just I just leave that for now. And then after the bath, I come back and use the clippers. Um, because it is uh, nicer that when uh, the hair is washed, it's better for the blades kind of thing. And there we go. And there's our baby with her beautiful little face again. So, except for that little piece. There. So there's the Bella. So I just wanted to show you that. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. And uh, if you have any comments or questions, please, uh, please definitely put them in this video and I'll be happy to answer them. Or if you have any suggestions for something you'd like to see, um, I'll also post that as well. So thanks for taking the time to watch. I hope you subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate that. And um, also, I hope you're having a great day. Thanks. Take care.